What up, Misha? Misha Roney. What up, Misha? Oh, can you hear me, bro? Misha. Can you hear me? Misha. Alright. I can't lose this game, bro. Not hey, after Misha, taking that L to Wagner. Come get Gurley. My brother. Yeah, Joe said come get Gurley. Hello, everybody. Hello, I'm Larry Ridley, Dalton. and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Come get my whole the team. Eagles would love nothing more so than to finish come get whoever. with a second notch in that win column. It's the Browns going up against the Bengals. <laughs> All right, it's the NFL on <laughs> EA Sports. <laughs> there you get a look at Paul Brown Stadium <laughs> Cincinnati. I fan. I Nothing ain't want that to happen. Him having Donald on his team. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up. I will suck your dick if you don't trade him to Misha. Cincinnati Bengals. And this return net's positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27 yard line. <laughs> I ain't want to face him. Yeah, I bet you didn't tell Misha about that. Yeah, I did try to get Donald. Hey, that offer's still on the table. You're not getting Ross. Why not? Well, for one, I just signed him to a contract. I can wait till next year. It ain't a big deal. The former second round pick, this is Joe Mixon. Oh, he's going to be taken oh, down here with a penalty flag oh. on the field. Man, there's so, so fucking many of them this year. What are you telling? I think I'll leave the league with 25. The only people celebrating? No, it ain't fun. The guys who just gave up that play. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Okay, there's a tone so oh, he's trash. Stuff him in the backfield. You know, they he's were a nice guy, but he's trash. Visualizing exactly that. That's what they were thinking about. Making that play, having back, leverage, back, back, all lower than the offensive back, lineman. Getting into the offensive back, back, backfield. Don't know why you're singing that, but yes. Jeez, you are fired up. When I see a play like that, I can't help it. A good pick up there, 26 yards. When I blow somebody out, they bad. Looks like they want to get that vertical passing game going early. And they did, and what a warning shot they just fired. If you're not going to back up and play coverage deep, they yeah. attack you all game long. And Dorian and done a little pre-draft trade. And that opens things up underneath. A really nice start for them. Great way to get the game going. Give him nine on the right carry. now I got Benjamin and Lockett as my starters because Ross is injured. Yeah, fucking Cody tore his abdomen two weeks ago. He comes back next week, though. Oh, fuck, I for... Uh, no, I lost by two points. Lost my last two games by two fucking points. Some bullshit. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. I don't think either one of us is surprised. Uh, they just don't get it on yeah, Wagner beat him, I think. Get to him as much as possible. Off to a nice start, but unable to haul that one. Nah, I got Wagner on his number. Drive can't connect there. They go play action with Wilson. Oh fuck! He's taken down for a sack. That's some bullshit. Sacks are really piling up. Last week, it was a half dozen sacks. And here's one on the opening drive. And it has the potential to be what we call a gap. A game-altering point. And look here, it's an opening drive fake. And this is incomplete. A huge Bruh. does not pay off. 
Fuck. They fake the punt, it doesn't do work out. That early well, not only game. did they try to fake it, Fuck. they put the ball in the arm of their punter, and it didn't oh, work. Oh well. Not the quarterback. No. Misha no, said to tell you I know what I'm doing. Yeah, no, he don't, so Misha. Misha. You're just saying that because it works. Genius. Fuck it up. But it doesn't work. Not so smart. Not so genius. In this case, not so genius. But I do admire that he went for it. And he's going to get this one down near the 45. Up, oh, down goes your running back. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaking up on the play. We'll check on his status when we get back. You should go if you drafted a high round rookie running back. What? It ain't racist. It's love. Working out of the gun. Here's Kaiser. Yeah. Heavy traffic gets intercepted. All the play. Good shit, Bansite. Base night. Joe said he called your play. He said he heard you, Becky. He said he heard you. He switched it because you said it. It was a screen. <laughs> Right Remember, he done that the last game, too. <laughs> I said play action like he was going to do a play action. And then he and did. Then he switched to a blitz, and he switched to a play action. He's like, oh, I thought he was telling me to do a play action. Mixon gets the nod to the <laughs> drive, and he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Fucking Wagner let uh, Mixon go off for over 200 our last game. Last week, we saw a rare. He was over 200 no. yards on the ground. See you, bro. They lost, so we'll see if they can get more carries like that and win this week. And that was interesting watching the game tape, wasn't it? Because it was hard to register. Yeah, we but got to be a dope. And create those nice runs, then they didn't win the football game. But that doesn't mean changing what you do. Continue to feed him the football. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not nah, as good as he works at a call center. This is what he does well. If you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> this is the end result. Big yardage after it. Got the speed uh, if he got 24s, so his ass would already be at work. Quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly Ooh. right. And what's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him. So but. Bobby. Oh, that was dangerous. I dodged the bullet. Throw it into coverage. Almost picked. My asshole just puckered. My asshole just fucking puckered. So second and ten here. That's the Madden God's way of making that fake pun up to me, dude. Cause that dude should have had that shit. They'll run it now out of the gun, and he's gonna get this one. But how sway? How? One yard, the official pickup there, so it's gonna set up third and nine. Sequence there, you foresee incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those Nicholas sub packages, don't they? Ah, I fucking had your ass. Gotcha. I suck my left nut, motherfucker. Damn it. Damn it. over that route defensively. Now they had two picks last week as a unit. Dang it. Quite grab that one. Aye, patience, aye, aye. patience. It's <laughs> early in this game, but you like the fact that they're around the football early. They're going to be upset they didn't haul that one in, but at least they're there at the moment of truth to make a play on it. By the way, oh, shit. Come from? I know it's been around for a while. Oh, what a bounce. Dude, I was there to try and jump at that ball. I was not letting that bitch go in the end zone. Fuck that. Points, but still not the way they were hoping to begin the game. But how about going and telling your defense, thank you. A huge thank you. You said didn't lead the point, stalled off that drive. Now they've got a chance to redeem themselves. Maybe reward their defense a little bit. Oh, shit, that spin. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. That'll go for a gain of 13, helping big time to get away from that end zone. <laughs> Was it? So here we go, first and 10 now. Oh shit, that's funny as fuck. From the shotgun, it's Kaiser. 
And his throw is incomplete. Whoa, wait, where's where's you who at? That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. Second down up. after <laughs> the incompletion. Come on, let's go. Done, done. Right. Out of the gun. And he'll take this up only to about his 18 yard God. line. Is <laughs> this dude made of glass? glass. Shaking up on the play. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. The dude's made of fucking glass, bro. For the Bengals as they try to defend this on third. Let's go. From the gun, Kaiser. Looks for Parker and it's intercepted. No, I didn't even dive at you. Fights forward for a couple with a penalty flag down. <laughs> what else did you think it was going to be, Misha? <laughs> I didn't, I declined it. Why would I accept it? I just picked the ball off, bro. <laughs> I ain't giving you the shit back. Nah. It don't work that way. Uh, okay. Whoop. And he will lose yardage back to the 34 yard line. Oh, shit. He's done. He's done so. All right, who you want me to hurt next? And the offense behind the chains here a touch on second and 11. I ain't that. I think you hurt Mixon, you motherfucker. All right. All right, bitch. Nah, nah. If Mixon is out for the game, I'm beating your ass. I will fly to fucking Arizona, motherfucker. Third and two. Now Wilson. Woo! What a pass! You motherfucker! ACL sprain. Shit, at least it's not a tear. Fuck. Offense comes to the line Dude, if, it, if that had been a tear, I'd have cried. I would have busted out in motherfucking tears right now. Oh, welcome, Marty Smith. Your time to shine, broski. Bring it out, bring it out, bring it out. I thought about going for the hit stick, but I was not about to let you fucking torch me. I was like, I could try it, but it may not go well. They give him full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light there. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. The throw to the left side caught by Wow, he threw it there. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19 yard line. A gain of six there on first. So I'm going to hurt Corey Coleman. Was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection. Maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time. Go with that. But there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you wonder, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. Yeah, they're going to get this one God all the way dang it. across the 45. That's a good play call. 28 yards on the ground. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. <laughs> They go play action here on first down. Oh, wait, who? Trey Ball. Oh, you're talking about that Russell? So they took a shot uh, he's not over 80 overall, but he balls the fuck out. He's no, he don't give up any deep balls on me thanks to that jumping. 
get gun shy throwing it around. Yeah, under throwing. Tell me to tell you how. Those interceptions maybe in the back of his mind. And on second and ten now. Kaiser to throw it. Well, here's another interception, the third of this first quarter. Picked off near the 42. And they will finally get him down as he's all the way to the 36-yard line. So that is three interceptions now in this first half. And you hate to ask the question, but you know, let's be honest. We're thinking about it. Do you need to go in a different direction next series? Potentially. We know that he's probably not going to be on the Pro Bowl ballot. That's not really his stature here. But he has been their starting quarterback for this game. So they've got to weigh things about who's behind him. Do they think he can snap it back into gear? Let's see whoever where. the play calling to help him out a little bit. Because that's where you have him playing? Possibly. Just saying. Now they try the right side here. And yeah, he's going to be taken down. Nope. With that's on you. On the field. Fuck. So let's see about the call. So on the God. End, holding. Each and every year, we talk about like if you run in the vicinity of, of a receiver, they're getting called for a holding. A lot in college, so it's a constant <laughs> struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it's it. Borderline it. fucking retarded. And he'll give it here to his running back. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away with God, I'm missing Mixon right already. already. Sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Yeah, keep play. laughing, yeah. asshole. It's your fault. This throw caught right around the six. 23 yards on the play. And when you're playing a quarterback, I fucked that. I'd have left his ass out. Because <laughs> if he's got an ACL sprain, that shit could turn into a tear, and I ain't fucking tearing his ACL. Defense is so well, doesn't he? He really does. And the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. They come out here in the eye. Now a handoff here to his running back. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Now Wilson, and he's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. Tyler Lockett, his first touchdown on the year. And the Bengals are able to grow their lead. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. Oh, yeah, it should be 14 to 7, hands down. Bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in depth is I got lucky as a motherfucker. Because people want the ball out of the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does. And a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They they have a script to start the ball game. And typically those scripts are two <coughs> ba -ba 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 -ba. plays. Ba -ba -ba. <laughs> touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it. Oh, uh, motherfucker. And try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points. Bad that Isaiah Crowell. No. And a first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, You're actually, not allowed to run like that with that motherfucker. But the running game I forbid it. Situation, I would continue to go in that direction. They keep it with Crowell on first. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. If Crowell had got up hurt, you might have cried. Nine yards still remaining here to pick up the first on second down. Who got hurt? A little line in another pack. Kaiser now on second. Going underneath for Crowell. Good shit, Apple. Oh, that was Boston. Perfect. Get your bitch ass back in that game. Fuck, you think she is sweet for, homie? I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL. Being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. 
Kaiser from the gun on third. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's Motherfucker. Okay. Okay, Madden. Uh, okay, Madden. Okay. Okay. That's how we're going to do this. Full deal, Madden. GG, Madden. After the penalty, it's Corral. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. Again, it's Crowell. And an alley to run. God bless. I can't it's stop that fucking running game. New set of downs. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think you talking about? You got Kaiser? Giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. He plays really well for my team. Kaiser on first down. Out to the flat. That's complete. Oh, my ball. My ball. He got with the fuck up. Yikes. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not even going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he takes this one just shy of Good shit, Cromarty. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Show him we ain't playing these shenanigans. The right defense there. Nickel set. Fit defensive back on the field. And they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not at all. And I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school. And one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I'd love to come down here and hit you little people. <laughs> good run there. Wilson firing quickly here and that's complete and this time he's able to take it down to the 42 the reception good for seven it's third down now the Bengals on third down just one for three thus far they're up against a third and one situation Play action. It's Wilson. A hit as he throws there incomplete. Ooh, I can't believe I got rid of that. Real well on this drive, and it was third and short. Okay. Decided to throw the football. Okay. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that. Okay. Fuck. Can't believe I got rid of that. Feeling like they're not quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on fourth. And an alley to run. And avoids the contact by sliding. A gain of eight on the keeper and a first down. Brandon, this is a good spot in the field to go for it. A lot of coaches call this no man's land. A field goal is no sure thing, and neither is a punt. They made the right choice, went for it, and picked up the first down. Play action. Now Wilson going deep for Benjamin. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. 
when teams take shots at the end zone, you've got to defend it the same way you would defend the first down sticks. You defend the goal line exactly the same way. They can't cross that. You play through the receivers. And on that play, that's exactly what they did and batted it away. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Second down, Wilson. That is caught right at the 10 yard line. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 to the 5 yard line. You sick or something, Misha? Nice gain of 25 yards. Are you sick or something? You sound like you got a lot of junk or something. I can hear you clearing your throat. The tailback. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the 4. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get his second touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier. was bidding for a second. On second down, here's Wilson. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out. And yes, they want the points, so they will <laughs> decline the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple seconds mulling over what the penalty I don't even know why they asked the sidewalk. Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, it went in. I thought I missed that shit. Teed up and is about ready to get this one started. Killing about a yard deep. And all deep in his own territory. Ooh, shit. And they'll be at the 18 yard line. Great field position here in the red zone. You know, it's great to be a Pro Bowl quarterback, all pro wide receiver. Those guys get all the endorsements. But we've seen a lot of guys carve out a great career as a special teams ace. And it's one of the most important parts of the game. We can talk offense and defense all we want, but the third phase, special teams, that can be the difference between winning and losing. And how about the big play? And that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. Kelvin Benjamin, his second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Bengals add on to their lead. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28 nothing now. The kicker, Roberto Aguayo, has it teed up and is about ready to get this one started. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he is going to be knocked flat on his back. Oh, a big hit. Why you go Jay's Kaiser? He had nothing to do with that last turnover. Who else do you even have for quarterback? yard line they begin with a run by Crowell I swear to God and he's brought down getting this one up to about the 35 that fucking hate counter play in this game. First down. Now that's how you start to get back in the good graces of your head coach. Remember, he fumbled on the last possession. How about the faith they showed him, giving him the ball again, and he rebounded, <coughs> picking up a first down. Here we 
They'll run it again with Crowell. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Get that pit, boy. Let's go. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. <laughs> you used to be in, wasn't he? You have The Browns on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and nine. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Five yards on the screen, but that'll take us to fourth down. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Now Jordan Berry on to kick this one away. Back deep, the dangerous Tyler Lockett. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sideline. Oh, you fucker. Sailed over. Looked like right near the you had to outdo me, didn't you? Perfect. Directional kicking at its finest right down at the one-yard line. An update from that game God going on dang in the Meadowlands. I... You saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. I have a feeling that one's going to stay tight throughout. We'll continue to monitor. Now Wilson back into his end zone. Throwing the slant pattern here complete. Oh, let's get the get fuck off of that. That was going to end bad. They were looking for a little spark and some breathing room. They got it right there. A gain of 14 and a first down. Now Wilson on first down. Big hold of the 30. Looking middle and that's complete. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. I think your two dudes hit each other. This is what it looked like to me anyways. On first and 10, it's Wilson. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. A good pick up there, 26 yards. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. They give him four yards there, it'll be second and six. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And he fires uh, incomplete. Uh, he was trying to get it to Josh Malone, and that takes us from second to third down. Okay, kind of okay. There, it's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. On third down, Wilson. Motherfucker. I knew that was coming. Damn it, I shouldn't have threw that. Mm, that's on me. Yeah, that's on me. Turnover bug last week, three interceptions. Not an absolute disaster, but Thought I could thread it on the outside. You Fuck. worry about your team as a whole because you have to find a way to make those interceptions quote unquote go away. And that means your defense. They've got to go out there on sudden change and at least hold people to field goals. And if that keeps happening, they lose confidence in the quarterback and then no one plays well. And he's got this complete to his fullback Harkey. It's a gain of five, and that'll bring up second down. 
He just actually caught a pass for you. Why are you going to tell him to get out the game? <laughs> he caught the pass. I mean, you should be happy about that. Somebody besides my team caught the ball. You should be ecstatic. As he'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. <laughs> so the offense Fair enough, first homie. And Fair two. enough. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, Nope. What? Ah, uh, suck my testicles. They've tried their best to get to him and haven't done it successfully. A penalty is a result of that hit there. Now the offense lining up first and ten. Now Kaiser. And this is caught. Touchdown. Wow. I'm not sure that they wow. have a right now. Okay, we're going to score eight times in a row. We're going to be terrific. But to get one, that was huge for him. That has to feel much better right now. And you do oh, you didn't miss. You do have the entire second half. There's something about that goose egg that just looked bad on that board. I just love how my defense just like collapsed on that drive. We'll see as we go along. Elsewhere on the NFL scoreboard in Dallas. And the Redskins All right. Fuck there it. to an early lead. We'll keep you updated. Let's go for that easy. Get that touchdown, now boys. The Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Final play of the half. It's Wilson. It's complete to lock it. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. So we've reached halftime here in the Queen City, and it's the Bengals leading this one. As we'll send you down to Orlando as we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry, both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Here's the Browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But, but this you're going to do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something trying? that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see uh. if that script is a good one for them. Second half begins with a run by Crowell. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. Bad I meet you. Start getting back into this Bad. game and behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what misleading, they were looking for sir. out of the opening play of this drive. That was misleading. You said, let's see what he can do, and then you ran the ball. I did not appreciate such uh, faggotry. Second down following the run. Kaiser hands the ball off just fine. And Kaiser actually threw a touchdown. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. It's caught by Crowell. And down it means he loves you and he's trying to make it up. It'll be a two -yard game. He wants to make it up to you. Down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Tight end in Joku. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Oh. Uh, they stopped him shy of the marker, thought they were bringing up fourth down, and then that. How am I getting rough in the passer after the ball's already gone and I'm not hitting you? Instead, they broke as a result of their own penalty. They'll run it. 
Ronnie's going to get this one down to the 45. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Tough running there. That's a hard earn four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. See if they stay on the ground for second down. And Joku over the middle. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. They'll run it now out of the gun. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. So what will they do on the ground through the air? Let's see. Second and nine. Nope. All right, here we go. Trying to keep this shit no contest, bro. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. And if you like defensive football, focus on the defensive end on this play. He does everything exactly. It right. sounds like a personal problem, Misha. And make sure he spills it for a small gain. The Browns on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and eight. Let's go. They'll set up a throw. And an alley to run. And it's a fumble. On plays like this where the ball comes free. Suck my the fucking dick. The team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is a quarterback. How the hell fuck do the you end. get that back? That's bullshit. What they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. They go play action here on first down. Man open right side, it's the tight end play. And he'll be knocked down sideways at the nine-yard line. 11 more on that one and another first down. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly I'm just waiting for you to throw some actual passes and so these little ink and dunk pussy passes. It's all good, Seth Jr. Motherfucker! Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post. Bro, I give the fuck up. I always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. On second down, here's Crowell, and he's in. Touchdown. All right, Madden's trying to hand you the fucking game. Crowell, his first touchdown on the year. Get a score closer. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis the on their side. We know this. this. We know where we are. But sometimes it you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect I fucked up and was in go line D and you ran the ball. Out of shotgun.
against goal line D. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And a big collision there as he winds up flat on his back. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive. I got like two, two score here, three on my screen. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call it oh, accordingly. Oh, because, because there's so many people really not doing shit on a Saturday, bro. The scoreboard is still up there, and the game's going to go on. In fact, you can take the spirit away from another team. That their drive and will to come back and win. Can we take shit. Right here? It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? A really nice gain of 20. Yeah, y'all run there for a fucking long ass time on that Discord and everything. The slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here. I finished the transport at like 4 30, and I thought about hopping. I was like, nah, I'm going to fuck the bed. There. Doing. They it's love talking about that man. No gain on the play there. Like they fucking hand. live for that well, shit. They know how to protect the pass, but sometimes cornerbacks they can also stop the run, can't they? Is that what we call a complete corner? Yeah, because we're so used to these guys just being defenders in the pass game. How about the guys who can come up and make the tackles? That's what we just saw there for no gain too. And incomplete. Mother fuck. The ball free and brings up third down. How about catching the ball, Benjamin? You're only a fucking possession receiver. It's not like that's your fucking job or anything. Fucking cross-eyed motherfucker. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. Woo! Okay. Okay, Burst. I see you, fam. I see you, Haynes. They don't need to tackle, bro. What do you want him to tackle for? What you got against me? He's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Wilson, he's going to go up top for the end zone. Oh, come on. Play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. All right. All right. Let's give mm -hmm. this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield. But when push came to shove, so glad y'all called the P.I. on like that play. And the Bengals on third yep. down. They've converted just two for six thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And I don't think he got there. No, they stop him right where it all started. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. So on fourth down, Marvin Lewis is on the field goal unit. Frickety, frickety, frick. 44 yards out. And Aguayo's kick is good. And that will make this now a 19-point advantage. So put another three on the board. And all things considered, a good opening drive here to begin the third quarter. It sure was. I think as a head coach, you're happy to come out and put a little drive together, take the three points, and build on your lead. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Browns offense trotting back onto the field. one across the 35 13 yards to pick up there good for a cleveland first man these guys may not win this ball game but you certainly can't fault the and he only coming to here play because i took out your damn running back sides all afternoon and that last carry puts him over the 100 yard mark fresh set of downs here let's go 
Working out of the gun. Here's Kaiser. Coleman has it here right side. And he'll be taken down, but not before the <laughs> Now after the completion, we're going to time out an injured player. I told you. Trainers take a look. We'll step aside. So here we go, first and ten now. Play action now, Kaiser. He's going to go for a big play downfield. Bro, don't you dare. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. First okay. Goal, okay. That, 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 cool. Yep. Looking to jam yep. receivers mm -hmm. in line here. Press coverage look defensively. They'll try and run for it with Corral. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this. Elbow bursted. Elbow bursted. Elbow bursted. now in Cincinnati it's the Browns with a deficit they're trailing but with the football here to start the fourth Just lay down then. Back at the nine yard line. I don't care if you're taking it around one, you're undrafted, whatever. As a rookie quarterback in this league, you're going to have games where you face adversity like this. Lessons. All the time you're going to face these lessons. The key for this guy is will he be able to bounce back in the next one? Because right now, this has not been his game. All right, so it's getting late in this one. Now, you could argue that they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but they still face a pretty uphill battle. Yeah, even with the field goal here, it's going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns now to get back in it, and that's going to be a tall order against this Fuck defense. It. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about many. five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And they're not going to play this conservative. <laughs> they had the field goal last time. Do what? Up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three. My comeback to the lead of the AFC North. Sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone. Yeah, get that shit from thinking. Wagner. And I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get <laughs> Held it for <laughs> one whole no week. One I've ever met. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. From the gun, it's Wilson. Call on the left side by Benjamin. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. A very solid gain of 27. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. So they jumped on the left side of that line. And you know when you're at the end spot, you are like in the starting blocks, waiting for the pistol to fire and go, and he jumped a little bit too early. And he'll give it here to his running back. 
And he's gonna get this one down. I ran right into that crowd and there was a hole at the left. The I'm an idiot. It'll leave him with a second and just three. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. Give them 17 at a Cincinnati first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to keep at this rate. Okay. Okay. And it took the ball off course. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right on his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Second and ten. It's Wilson again. And he's caught at the seven. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 to the 5-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he is in. Touchdown, Bengals. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Bengals are able to grow their lead. I missed. Oh, how about this? No good. Just his second miss of the year. And our score will stay right where it is. The kicker, Roberto Aguayo, has it teed up and is about ready to get this one started. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. What? Throwing here to start the drive. A screen complete to Crowell. And he'll lose yardage on this one back to the 13. A loss of a full three yards. Swear to God, he has to get an incompletion before the end of this fucking game. That is bugging the fuck out of me right now. Shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Pressure gets to him and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. Well, if an offense is going to throw the ball in this part of the field, any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part. Gets a chance to get after the quarterback. It's almost like a reverse red zone. They can create points using their defense, and this time they take their man down. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down. Yes! Finally! And I got a swat on it, so Banks got him a pass defense. They got the lead for the quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. And now before they run this fourth down play, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter.
Here's Jordan Berry now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he's able to get it out of there. Holy shit. What a lay. For Lockett. That was a good punt, bro. Turn that time, 26 yards, and the Bengals will take over in terrific field position. What? The Bengal offense now gets set to head back out onto the field. Going to give this time to the tailback. And down inside the 40 to about the 38. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for them. Right. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in balance. Right. Keeps the clock rolling. Oops. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay go on. My bad. Rush offensively. <sighs> Misread what the play looked like on my screen. Now Wilson on second down. Benjamin with it over the middle. And he's going to get this down near the 20 yard line. 18 yards on that one, and the Bengals are moving. First down. Hey, all I will say is you can thank Dorian for that one. Now they try the right side here. Open space inside the 10 and brought down. Imagine the yards I'd have on the ground if it wasn't for them holding penalties. The solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. I know that at least Peppers has seven tackles. At least Peppers has seven tackles. But a space there takes it inside the five to the three. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. I have to chuckle to myself Why a little not? bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with the oh. offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get him behind us and let's go. It's their time to shine. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Shouting, we'll finish it after this. Trying to bust out of that losing funk, and these fans have to like this. And all right, fellas, this is more like it. And I know that if this holds up after the game, they're going to give the fans a lot of credit being at home, getting the support. But you and I both know it goes deeper than that. They had to get it together in their own facility, look each other in the eye and say, okay, what's it going to take to break this losing streak? And they really came together with a good week of practice. The kicker, Roberto Aguayo, has it teed up and is about ready to get this one started. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at him turn. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Now the Browns offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. They're down big here late. I, I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. They're going to look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Norman. 
And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. <laughs> the Browns on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This time it's third and three. Now back to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Really good, smart play by the defense, understanding third and short, guarding the first down sticks, and being able to make a play on the football and bat it down. Here's Jordan Berry now, as he's on to punt for Cleveland. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Now it's Lockett. A nice job on the return there. 16 yards. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. A fourth quarter score from the Meadowlands. And the Bills, they have added to their lead. A win would be their second on the young season. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. It's a gain of 13, and the Bengals have a what? first down. Brendan, every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about running them into submission. Uh, hadn't you it? took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Oh, Wilson going to throw. Going deep for Benjamin. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Yeah. Snaps it for the pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. That's He's my bad. He had the pick six last week. Not a pick six here, but an interception. Oh, I, I was hoping Oscar, he was going to. We use when we intercept the pass. Oski tells your team to rally around and block for you. Well, that worked really well last week because he had made it all the way to the end zone. This week, you got the Oski. Maybe not a touchdown, but boy, he's playing really well. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. And we're hitting the end of this one, and it looks to probably be the final play. On the counter, it's Corral. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going Good go game, Misha. He's fumbled already once, Charles. I'm not going to say that that was in his...